This is the story of a musical past of the incredible beginnings of entertainment in the gramophone era of a technology and a community of women performers whose confluence laid the foundations of India's music industry. Here we are talking about an art form, evolution of art forms of different kinds in music and the vehicles that take these art forms to the audience. The 1900s were witness to the incredible beginnings of musical entertainment. A new platform of performance emerged for professional singers beyond the courts. Known as the Baijis, their music now found admiring listeners throughout the country. Fred Gaysberg was the principal recording engineer of the Gramophone and Typewriters Limited. He arrived in Kolkata in 1902 to set up a recording studio and soon realized the difficulty of the task that lay ahead. Though a foreigner of means, even Gaysberg knew that with little knowledge of India's diverse music culture, finding talented singers was not going to be easy. I think she is a very interesting transitional figure, uh, Gohar. And what really was the catalyst for that change was the gramophone. Because without the gramophone, none of these things would have actually happened. Gohar Jan, huh? It was very good. It was very good. It was very good. It was very good. The involvement of Baijis in gramophone recording saw the beginning of the music market in India. Years after Gauharjan's first commercial recording in 1902, Names like Janki Bai Chappan Shuri, Miss Fani Bala, Miss Godavari, Jadumani Dasi, and several others rang out in the industry corridors and among the music lovers of the country. Iqbal Bana se dili ki, Anmari Bai thi, Bibo Bai Jaipur se aati thi, aur Rasulan Bai Banara se aati thi. Siddhashvi Bhai Bana Se Aadhi Thi, Yeh Badi Naam Mashroor Tha, Girja Ji, Yeh Sare Mashroor Aadhi Thi. Dhumri Ko Chhote Chhote Kai Raagun Me Dal Diya Jata Hai. Jaisa Shaham Ka Khamaat Ga Rhe Hai, To Usne Mai Bhair Bhi Bhi Laga Di. Mai Usne Paraj Bhi Laga Sakti Hai, Mai Usne Bhairo Bhi Laga Sakti Hai. To Kai Raagun Ka Mishran Ho Jata Hai. इसलिए मिश्र हो गया, मिश्रित हो गया। The reason why Kolkata and Bombay were important centers for the wives is because these were places where there were lots of people and there was there were potentially large audiences. Because you will find that unlike male ustads. Who are identified by gharana. Women ustads are identified by places of residence. Most of these places you will see are uh, what we used to call in Bangla ganjo, places of trade. And it is there that they had their uh, kothas. A 
a journey of rediscovery that traces the lineage of their contribution to the Hindustani classical music from the magnificent dancing halls and the splendor of mehfils into the magical world of films. This concept of uh, the song being part of your performance, that you are being the character and acting, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, you have to get into that, that mode of it. It's a different genre, it's a different concept, you know. It's not like realistic as such, you know, you don't break into a song when you're talking to somebody. But you just have to accept it. It's again a part of storytelling. You know, it's part of Hindi films. That's how Hindi films are made. Let's also remember that this was the time when the independence movement was at a feverish pace and needless to say, several of the Baijis became a part of it. Financial contributions to political parties, singing and writing songs of freedom, wearing and spinning khadi in the spirit of Swadeshi, much was also being done by the Baijis for the nationalist movement and the ongoing social reforms. Actually, the Tawaif really brought a lot of intellect to art, which was there in Awadh. But I think what had happened was after 1857, that whole institution began to get uh, degraded. It, you know, Victorian values set in. And uh, I think the kind of patronage they used to get to become artists, that was lost. A tale of stigma and of daring. Indian Women on Record is a recalling tribute to the fabulous women singers whose lives have been lost to history. <laughs>